Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> I hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, whatever time you guys are in right now. And as you guys can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a trying out makeup from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna let you guys know whether they're good products or not. And I don't do makeup. These were not purchased by me. I didn't buy them, but my sister gifted them to me. So I thought that it would be a good video to do because I know a lot of people do not have a lot of money to spend on makeup, especially me during this um like this whole pandemic that's going on. And Dollar Tree may be your solution. And you're like, is it even worth it though? Like, should I really go out and spend a dollar on this product if it's not gonna work? I mean, it's only a dollar, but like it's something. It's still money, you know. So I'm going to be helping you guys out, and I'm gonna tell you whether or not the products were good i don't have that many products she only gifted me a couple things so i'm gonna try all of them out and let you guys know how it looks and by the way like i said i'm not good at makeup i don't do makeup it's usually nothing that i ever do but we're going to try it out today so let's get right into the video <laughs> So this is the little pouch that my sister gifted me as well. She gave me just a box full of like snacks and just everything that you could want. Socks and like it was just so cute. But this is the little bag that um, she gave me as well. This was all the stuff she got me was from Dollar Tree. So she, if you want like a pouch to hold like, I don't know, coins, um, makeup, <laughs> then... This is this is good. It's a Dollar Tree. And it brought multiple pouches. Pouch. It brought multiple pouches. <laughs> okay. This camera. Is, this lighting is just not working with me right now. But it's totally fine. So the first product that she gave me was this liquid makeup product, and it looks like so. And and it's from L. A. Colors. I don't know how much this cost. Like normally like if you were to get it at other stores and not from dollar tree but this was a dollar dollar tree everything that i'm showing is from a dollar tree and it's a dollar and it comes with this little pump as well so we're going to be testing that out for you guys today she got me this little lick step duo it's lip duo and this one's um la colors as well and it looks like that and it's color uh it doesn't say what color it is, but it looks like so. It's actually a really pretty red. But let's see if I like it. And then she gave me... Uh, she gave, obviously, she gave me all this stuff. But then on the other side, it has this like lip, lip gloss. As you guys can see, it's this color. It's a really cute color. I think I would probably use the lip gloss. Um, I don't know about the lipstick, but let's see. We can't judge it until we try it. And if you guys hear background noise, I apologize. That is my niece in the background, and she's a little crazy all the time. There she is. There she is. And my dog. My dog is there too. Oh, there he is. Um, Katie's not leaving this anymore. is my tutorial and I want to tell you that I got a new dog and his name is Buddy and he's the cutest baby ever. <laughs> so I think most of the products that she gave me are from LA Colors. I don't know if the brand is expensive, mm -hmm. cheap, but let me focus it. That's how it looks and it's like a blush and it comes with like a little brush as well to like brush it and put it on your skin i guess i assume and so that's like the second the third product that she gifted me the next product she got me was a mascara and this is from wet and wild this is the mega wear mascara and it's like this blue little container it's like a cylinder and then it has like all this mascara and it's, it looks like a good product i don't know whether it would be a good product or not because i don't wear makeup but you know she also got me this brush i assume to use to blend my foundation out and it actually really like this brush because of the bottom i don't know it's just like really cool and cute for me i, I think know. it will look really good or feel really good on my skin when i put it on and then um she got me a palette and this is the feeling mm, i don't know how to say that 
but you guys could see the palette here and they're all like really shimmery colors Ow. let's see if i can even open it oh it's because there's tape let me take the tape off let me take the tape off and i'll be right back after this commercial do you ever get tired of walking your dog well now I'm introducing the Oven 360. All you gotta do is enter the dog in the oven, close it up, and now you can eat it. That simple. Okay, so this is how the palette's looking. It looks really cute. It's like really shimmery colors. I don't know. Um, there's a couple matte colors here, but mostly shimmery, which I think is perfectly okay. I actually like it shimmery stuff and then she got me these makeup wipes which are also from dollar tree and yeah i don't know what brand this is global beauty um care brand but yeah so that's the brand and that's everything that she got me and i am going to be testing them out now so so if you guys are enjoying the video so far don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video i would really de deeply appreciate it if you guys were to do that for me <laughs> so i'm gonna get a little closer to you guys i apologize if it's too close so i'm gonna start off with this on the back of my so that's how it looks when it's on my hand um it looks like my skin tone i hope so i'm just gonna um apply it just everywhere it feels like really soft <laughs> i don't know how to explain shit y'all but it does feel really like i don't know like it feels really like like i don't know it doesn't feel like really heavy it feels light so I'm gonna use this brush to like blend it in, I guess. So I'm trying to like have this focus a little bit better so that you guys can see fully. So okay, so I'm blending this out a little bit, and it's actually I don't know whether it's the brush. I don't know. I don't. I'm giving y'all my honest opinions um regarding the price okay so obviously it's not going to be the best product in the world because it is dollar tree but obviously you got to think about it it's only a dollar is it worth it for only a dollar you know so so far i feel like my skin feels really good um it doesn't feel like i have anything on it it just feels really light which i actually love when my foundation whenever i wear makeup to feel like but um that's how it looks after I blend it out and I actually really like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna add um, a little bit on my eyelid just so when I put my eyeshadow I have like a little bit of a base. Um, a little bit more on my under eye, whichever is left honestly. So because I have a lot of dark circles, so I'm, I'm gonna be using like mostly the same brush the whole time, so. All right, so that is the um foundation i don't like to use a lot of foundation so um those lining it's just going crazy right now i don't know why i don't like to use a lot of foundation so um yeah so it doesn't look unnatural but that looks pretty good so that's the foundation for y'all okay next We'll put this foundation away. Actually, um, if I had to rate, I'm going to rate every product. So this product, um, I'm going to rate it a 10. I actually really like how it feels on my skin. It's not completely full coverage. Like, you can see that my um, my acne is, like, popping out still. It is not covering the whole thing. But let's see if we add a little bit more on my blemishes and see what happens. Just a little bit though because like i said i don't really that's why i didn't really care because i don't like cakey skin if that makes sense because a lot of females i'm not dissing on nobody i promise but like a lot of females out there love to wear like so much foundation and they look really cakey which i don't i don't like so so i'm just bedding out this little bit of makeup that i had left 
or when I had applied recently and that's how it looked it's not completely fully covered you guys can still see this pimple still see this one so actually I'm gonna change the rating to a nine because it still works it still is a good product it covers your skin it gives you that clean smooth like feeling and look so that's why i'm giving it a nine but it doesn't it's not full coverage you guys can still see i'm trying to like make sure you guys see this better so you guys can see how like it's not like covering all my acne so i will give that definitely a nine or an eight but it's not the best, it's not the worst, okay? So let's bring this light back down so you guys can see me better. I'm going to apply this blush next because I would usually, if I were to do my own makeup, I would go with the um, concealer, but she didn't give me concealer. So I'm going to just skip those steps and grab this. So this is a little brush that it comes with. I'll rate the brush and the product um on its own so i'm just gonna bring ooh, on my brush it looks really pigmented this is how it looks after i put my brush in it so i'm gonna apply it like all right here like basically where like the cheek zone is and just apply it all over there so unfortunately i don't recommend this product it is um doesn't show on the skin i don't know if it's because of the brush or because the product itself but i just i don't know if you guys can tell but i just added a bunch of the powder which is right here and you can see me applying it but nothing really pops out on the skin itself so i'm gonna give this product probably a I don't want to be harsh at a five a five because you can see it like you can see the rosiness a little bit when I go kind of far but like you can like come on like can you really see that like I know my acne is there and shit but like can you really see that I don't think so the next product that I'm gonna use is this <laughs> which I'm excited about this is the um, eyeshadow palette that I showed you guys in the beginning. And it comes with this little brush. Oops. This little brush that looks like this. And I think the first coat I'm going to start with is probably this. No. Yeah, I'm going to start with this coat right here. So, I'm going to take that on my brush. It looks really pigmented. And I'm going to apply it on my eye like so. The brush feels really nice on my eyelid. Usually when I use other brushes, it really, like, it just feels uncomfortable. Um, but this actually feels pretty nice. And I think the color is really nice. It's, like, really pigmented. Like, you guys can see the difference, you know? Like, where the eye the blush, you, can, you can't even see the difference. So, I actually like that product a lot. So. And then this is actually really nice i actually like it that's just gonna be the base coat so i'm gonna apply a little bit more of that i have to kind of do a little bit of a a layer okay just so i can have like that base coat you know and then i'm gonna apply a little bit of this one right here i don't know if they have names they do okay um I can't even tell. They're back here. If you guys want to know. But I don't want to even try. So I'm going to go in with this. Excuse me. I'm going to go in with this color right here. Which is a little bit more darker than the other one. And I'm just going to take that. And I'm going to um, put it in the inner corner. Like so. I don't know if that shows. You guys can see the pigment on there. But then when you put it on the eye. It doesn't really come out. I mean, like, do y'all really see a difference? No. So I'm going to give this color, the one that I just tried out, mm, a 5. Because you can see it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But it's not as good as the other one. I'll give this one a 10. So I'm going to go in with this darker. Oops. What the heck? I'm going to go in with this darker color right here. To go with the, hopefully it's more pigmented and darker than the other one. So we're going to go in the corner. Like I've been doing. 
these colors don't really pop out. I mean, you can see it a little bit, but like, not really. Okay, let's try this darker one. Maybe that shows more. There we go. It doesn't really blend out the way that I like it to. I don't even really like that color. I used, if you're wondering what color I used, I used this one. This one's a nice color. It actually is really pigmented, so that's good. And that's why I'm not going to use too much because it's, it's a dark color. And it actually comes out. I give both of these, this one and that one, a uh, 5 because it didn't even show up. It didn't even, like, you couldn't even see it at all. You can hear my dog in the background. I apologize for that. This is what we got going so far. It's not the best, but we're, we're working with it, all right? So I'm coming with this shade right here, this shiny shade. And I'm going to put it in the corner as well to lighten out that dark color. Just a tiny bit. Oops. Okay, and then I'm going to use the other side of the brush, and I'm going to go in with this shimmery shade right here, and I'm just going to do that literally on the whole eye right here, like if you were doing a cut crease type shit. This is not a tutorial, so I don't even know why I'm like even acting like it is a tutorial. Okay, so that's the eye look for today because I don't even think I could do anything better with that. Um, I'm gonna get this palette, honestly, y'all. It's not the best palette because it's from Dollar Tree. Like, why do you think it's gonna be the best? Mm, it's not. So, I'm giving this palette, like, um, I'm gonna use this white to dim down the white, I mean, the black. Because that shit was way too fucking dark. And I don't like dark colors at all. Like, just let me, I don't like it. So I'm gonna, like, just, like, kind of, like, dim it down a little. With this. Okay. So, that's that. And I give this, like, a zero. Not a zero, like a two. It worked, but it wasn't the best, you know? And then, I'm going with the mascara. And... I'm gonna try that out. My eyelashes are always small, like really short, so I don't expect it to pop out because they have always been really short and they don't like pop off, you feel? I mean, you can see it, but, like, I mean, it's a good mascara. It feels good on my eyelash, um, yeah, my eyelashes, and I kind of fucked up my fucking, it's okay, let's blend that out. Oh, my God, that just made my eyelashes so much darker, okay, whatever. Oh, my God, this is, like, a whole fail, y'all. Okay. I give this a five, a seven. This is actually not that bad of a product. I mean, if I had longer eyelashes, obviously it would look way better, but I don't. So it's fine. Last but not least, we're gonna try out this. Okay, and let's see how this looks.
10 out of 10 recommend if you like red colors because it feels so creamy and it feels so nice. Let's go in with the gloss. Mm-hmm. That is a nice color. So this is like the final look. Not the best look, honestly. I don't like it. Um, but it's not the worst I have ever done. So let's just go over what um I didn't like. I didn't like the um eyeshadow and the blush just because they didn't really show out really. And I didn't really, I loved the um, mascara and the lip gloss. And I definitely didn't like the blush, like I said. And I loved, loved the, the um, foundation. Like, look at this foundation. I look flawless, Leo. <laughs> I'm going to use these on my own. I'll let you guys know in another video if I like them or not. Because I have to go to the store real quick with my cousin. She's, like, rushing me. And actually, fuck it. Let's try it. Who's gonna kill me though? Let's try this out. Yes. Uh, Yes, I love this. These are definitely worth the dollar. Like, look out all the foundation that it took off. And it doesn't make my skin feel like like unnecessary products are on there. It definitely took off the eyeshadow really easily. I don't know if because the eyeshadow was a bad eyeshadow or if just because... The, these are so good so now let's take off this mascara which is always the hardest part for me if i ever even wear makeup so oh my god like usually i always get like really black under eyes and i'm not getting that right now which i'm happy about and then last but not least right off y'all this is definitely worth it i definitely recommend these if you wear makeup for sure and since my face feels a little bit dry i'm going to use my moisturizer which is not from dollar tree i don't know if they sell this there but i got this one from walmart for like three bucks you know and i'm just gonna moisturize my face because i don't like when my face feels dry it just really sucks so let's moisturize my baby face if you guys want to see my skin routine, I am so down to show you guys my skin routine. I know I don't have the best skin, but y'all should have seen my skin when I was, like, younger. It was, like, really bad. It's because I never really took care of my skin. So, it was obviously going to be really bad. But, um, I actually like my skin now. It actually looks really cute. Like, it's actually, like, way better than it was before, which I love. And this is how my skin looks after the moisturizer I look a little shiny but that's not even like oil or anything it's just the, the moisturizer which i actually like i don't mind being um shiny i actually like like the shiny look on me but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment i know the look wasn't the best but definitely recommend most of the products here like i said i really recommend the lipstick the the um the wipes the lipstick um the brush um, i feel like you could find a better brush out at dollar tree i've seen dollar tree products and i think you could find a better brush than this one i feel like this one's good for like the powder or like the blush or the contouring or the bronzer but not really for foundation you know and then I definitely recommend the foundation, like, for sure. Like, that, this is a good product. And I think I'll actually use this now. I'll actually start wearing makeup because of this product. I really recommend. <laughs> Alright, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>